Hey guys, hi, hi, hi. I'm Michelle, and I just wanna take a minute and show you what's going to come in your box of supplies for our Zoom class. I'm so, so excited. Okay, so when you open your box, open it carefully, because there's a lot of little things. But what you will have, and I'll have you check off and make sure you've got everything in there. The first thing you'll have is this little workbook. Okay, this will be your little workbook. You'll have a watercolor pad. It's this right here, three by nine. You will have, let's see, I'm going down my list here because I wanna make sure I don't miss anything. You'll have your 20 piece watercolor set and 20 pieces includes the tin. And I'll show you inside all of this stuff in just a moment. You will have a clear packet. Well, here, we'll skip, we'll go back to that in a minute. You'll have a clear water bottle. And when you fill this, you'll fill it probably till about three fourths, is where I usually do mine. You'll have this funny little thing with washi tape around it saying either warning or caution, because you can just peel that right off. And just be gentle when you peel it off because you can reuse this. But when you open this, be careful so that it all doesn't go everywhere, okay? Inside your packet here, you will have a color chart that I've already made for you. Because since this is a Zoom class, I wanted to make sure we all had some of the same materials and that we used the same names for the paints. So that's what is going on there. And then I've also included for you uh, just some things you might want to paint and play with later on. Some pieces of watercolor paper, some extra pieces there. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Okay, so we have a skewer that I've cut off. And be really careful with this because this is sharp and could... Yeah, I don't want anybody to get hurt. So be careful with that. We'll use that for mark making. This is a stirrer stick, and we can also use it for mark making. Q-tip, great for mark making. You'll have this really ugly brush. This is just for mixing paint on your palette. You'll have a white china marker. Love this. And these are so much fun to if you wear it down and you need to sharpen it, you just pull this down and then you peel the paper. Now, here's my white china marker at the moment. It got a little crazy, right? This is too much. You don't need to peel it all that way down. But you'll just give the string a little pull and then you'll peel it. It just peels right off. So, and then you, you just wanna try and get just that one layer still works though. So that's what you'll have here. All of this fun stuff. You'll also have, this is your, what did we call this? This is your scraps swatch. These are all scraps from the watercolor paper when I cut it. And I love to use these to make swatches. And I've put a brad on there, on the back of that. So if you want to add to it, all you have to do is punch a hole in it and you can keep adding and keep making swatches. Okay, so let's talk about your watercolor art set. This is awesome. Candy supplied all, she asked me what I needed and she got everything. She's so wonderful. So yes, I told her we needed this so you didn't have to go looking for things. Okay, now mine I have been using to prepare all of the class materials. So this is what mine currently looks like. So to lay flat, that's got to be up just so you know. So these are all of our little pan paints in here. This is the eraser. It comes in a little case or a little, you know, it's just covered, packaged, and it goes right there. You have a pencil sharpener and your sponge. You have your round brush and then you've got a flat brush, and yes, my brushes are clean. <laughs> I've just used them. That one looks like it could be cleaned a little better. Um, I've just been using them. They're, they start out white, I believe it was. 
and then they just fit right in there. Now this is a charcoal pencil, and I wish they hadn't included this in there. Both my daughter and I are watercolorists, and neither of us would ever want to use this with our watercolor sets. And here it is. Here's the pencil sharpener with, you know, look at that. It won't even go in. <laughs> so I would suggest that you just leave this in the package. Um, this is like great for like starting out drawing and stuff like that. So maybe they want you to draw with this and sketch some stuff in, but I'm actually going to put a mechanical pencil in each of your kits so that you can use that. And it's got an eraser on it as well. So this is really messy. So I pulled mine out of my kit and then I took my white and I put it right there because that's how I like it better. And this is a really good sharpener. So keep a hold of that. It's a metal one. And those are really nice. Let's see if I can get it back in there. Might have to do that later. Okay, and this is what they refer to as your palette. Now, I actually use a plate for my palette. And I'll show you that later in one of the videos. Um, you can mix your colors right here. But if you have a plate, that's great. Now, I want to, let's see walk you through your palette. Here's your book. Now, when you open it up inside, you should see your name. And here we've done, this is going to be your workbook. And this is one of those projects that you can do ahead of time with your round brush. You want to see what marks you can make with it. And I'll also have videos for these too that you can access if you'd like. And this is your flat brush. So fun practice in there. Here is the example. And then on each side, there's a sheet of watercolor paper that you can pull out and you can do that as well. We'll do this in class. On our Zoom class, we'll do this on our Zoom class. We'll do this on our Zoom class. This might be a little extra, so we'll find that. Um, this I show you how to mop up paint left on your palette. So we'll do part of this during the class. And this I want to show you because I want to show you how to make the skin tone with your paints. It's really important to know how to make, uh, how to mix your colors and get your pinkies and your skin tones and, uh, and then using different uh, tones of your, different saturation levels of your paints. Because you can see how I've used your paints. I've gone really thick for that boom, bold impact. Now these are chalky paints and you can see that when you use the color really dark. But you can also use the color really light and then do mark making on top of it. So that's what that's about. And then there's some things back here that pages filled in with blank paper that you can just play as well or maybe in one of the classes that we do that you can do beforehand where you practice your brush marks and your mark making, you can do that back here. Because you, you might want to practice some of your mark making with these tools and see what kind of marks you get. So that's completely up to you. So uh, if you see a little name tag, well, you will see one with your name on it. This is actually hot pressed paper for watercolor. This is a totally different beast. I actually had painted a swatch and I just used it to make little tags for your uh, palettes. So this paper is watercolor paper, but it will feel very different from the watercolor paper we're using here. Okay, so I think that's it. Uh, this is what's going to come in your packet and I will have email links to you where you can go and watch the videos. I'm so excited and I can't wait to see each of every one of you on Zoom. See you!